first thing I need to do is get the door mirror off. So I've prized that out. That just that is just clipped on on there. You just get a screwdriver in the top and it just clips off. I have to move that little bit of weatherproofing or whatever it is out of the way, a bit of sponge, disconnect that, and then you undo those two torx screws and the mirror just lifts off. Simple as that. So that's the first job to do. Nearly there. Just got to do it, undo the screws and then uh, get the wiring out of the way. Okay, mirror's off. That's nice and easy. Um, now someone, as you can see, I've already taken the wheel off, uh, the wing off. If you uh, saw my other film of doing that, you'll know how easy that was. Now someone suggested that I take the wing off, take the door off, put the new door on, put the new wing on, in that order, um, as it makes it easier. Now, we have an array of bolts. I've got the new door, so I'm going to attempt to do this completely today, even though I have to go to work at five o'clock tonight for a night shift. But I'm going to give it a go. So we've got hinge, hinge, and in there is the stay, stay bolt or whatever you call it, that one in there, which obviously you can see better when it's open. I think it's better to open the door to do this. And I'm going to look at the new door and I'm not sure exactly which bolts I'm supposed to be undoing at the moment. So I need to look at that. Um, the thing with the new door is the wiring loom has been cut just here. So I've got to now unthreadle, if that is the right word, the wiring loom from this door, put the new door on and then thread the, the wiring loom through. Obviously I'm going to take all the wiring out before I attempt to take the door off because I don't want the door falling off with the wires still attached otherwise it might break the wires. So that's the next thing to do. Uh, so unthreadle all the wires. Okay, the door handle's taken off. That's the mechanism. There's the wiring loom, which has all got to come out. I'm doing this, filming it and taking pictures of it just in case when I get it out and I can't remember where, where it goes back. So hopefully that should be good. Now the speaker is riveted in. Luckily the new donor door, which is obviously off a second hand one in the right colour, has also got the speaker already in there. So hopefully this shouldn't be too griefy. Should be okay I think, so we'll see. And uh, obviously I've got to take the handle off as well, which may or may not be difficult. I've never done that before either. We shall see how that goes as well. Okay, let's uh, do the wiring loom first. Okay, at the moment I'm having trouble getting this plug off. I think this is off the, the window regulator. Can't seem to get it off. The yellow bit has pushed out, pulled out rather. I'm also having trouble getting, getting the speaker neck connection off as well. I'm going to persevere. I'm not going to try and force it, but hopefully it won't be too bad. But we shall see. But at the moment I'm having a little spot of bother with that one and a spot of bother with that one. And I haven't even got to that one yet, which is the lock. But I shall persevere. Okay, I've got the wiring loom off at long last. The um, the plug, which is that one, which is the one that goes onto the lock, was a real pain to get off. It was really difficult to get off, but I got it off in the end. Um, I've been fiddling around in here, trying to get the lock off, the, the door handle off, and I can't for the life of me get it off. I've undone the, that bolt, which releases the front of the handle. But I can't figure out how to get the, the rest of it out. It just won't seem to go for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm going to have a look on the forum and see if I can find a, a guide on how to do that. There must be something somewhere. And uh, once I've got that off, I can then take the door off. Right, I've taken those two bolts off of the hinges. One there and one there. Top one, the bolt's at the bottom. And the bottom one, the bolt's at the top. So I'm hoping now, the door, which is very heavy, going by the new one, just lifts off. I've undone that. So with a bit of luck, now that's all out of the way, it should just lift off, but we shall see. So I thought I'd go uh, banger racing, so I thought I'd take all the panels off and make the car lighter. Right, it's off, as you can see. Um, it seems it's quite easy to get off. It would, I, could, I tried lifting it, it is quite heavy and it didn't seem to want to budge, but what I did is I got my trolley jack with a couple of bits of wood and a brick, lifted it, and it just ended up falling face down on the floor. Uh, luckily it didn't damage the paintwork of the car as it fell, because it did hit the uh, hit the seal, but that's fine. So probably two people job would probably be able to lift it off a lot easier than me doing it on my own, so I had the help of a trolley jack. Anyway, it's off, now I've got to try this. Here's the old one, there's the new one. I've got to try and get it on now. So hopefully it should be a very straightforward uh, reverse of taking it off. The only problem I've got 
is the door handle. I still can't get that door handle off. I, I've quickly looked at on the forum and Googled it and I can't find anything. I'm standing outside in the cold with my iPad though, so I'm not that patient with it at the moment. But if I can get the door on, at least then I can go back indoors in the warm and try and figure out how to do that. So as I say, that's the next stage, lifting that door, putting it on there. So as I say, you've got one, one of the bolts goes in there and one of the bolts goes on there. Looks pretty easy. We shells, it's on. Both bolts done up. And the stay. Sort of, I'm, I'm not able to shut it properly yet because the wiring looms in the way. But it looks the part, doesn't it? Colours seem to match perfectly, which is good. Got a bit of a scratch there, but I'll uh, have to try and sort that out at some point. So at least it's dent free. So now I've got to do the wiring loom, take the wiring loom out of this one and then put the wiring loom in from the car. Which now I've already done, it shouldn't be too bad. Still can't figure out how to get this door handle off. I've actually ended up breaking it. That's the mechanism. That's it from the other side. In no way, although I've broken it, I still cannot get this piece out. There's bits in the way, if you can see them. So, because I've broken the handle, I'm now going to have to get a new one. So, if you can see that, it says in the in the um, e-learn, compress that bit and it just pushes it out. But as you can see, there's bits here that are up against the bodywork. It won't, it won't move to the right, it won't move to the left, and it won't move up and down. Just makes no sense whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, don't quite understand that bit at all. So I'm going to have to buy a new handle now and then try and work out how to fit it on the new door. Right, here's the new door handle that's arrived. Proper Fiat part. And here we see. Sorry, it's a bit jerky, but I'm one handed. We'll take it out of the packet. This is the bit that I was talking about in the other video, or in the beginning of this video. This is the spring that you have to compress. to get the door handle out. So I'm going to now attempt to get it in. I've got some tape over the door because it's been raining. So I've been tape that up, get that off. Hopefully I can throw this away now because I can get this in. So basically that's the shape that it fits into. And there are pieces of metal in the way. Now I'm hoping it sort of slides around these bits. Unfortunately, I can't hold the camera and do it, so uh, actually I might try. Right, I've propped the camera up now, so I'm going to give it a go. So now I've got to feed that through there somehow. How the hell? How the hell do you do it? I do, do not have a clue how that goes through there. Let's push the door to. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Well, I started to do it, and I think I sort of got it quite, quite easily. Um, you put this this piece in first, and then you sort of jiggle it through in it by compressing that it fits through. So I'm going to try and do it now with the door open like it is now. See if I can... Uh, I had to push the door shut the last time. It's a bit fiddly with the door open. So you push it in there. And then, once that's in, it should... It did before. I did have the door closed and it seemed to be easier with the door closed. Again, I can't do it with the door open. I'm gonna to have to close the door and try and prop the camera up again. Right, let's try and move the camera. 
Okay, put the camera up there. Right, I'm going to try it again now to see if I can get this handle in. That's it. Just like that. Now, why couldn't the old one come out as easy as that? There. That's it. Now I've just got to do is tighten it up. Do the screws up. Just like that. How easy was that? As you can see, I've got it done in the end. There's the handle, all nicely screwed up. Door closes, but it's not right. It's, there's, no, there's barely a gap down there. I'm trying to get out of the shadow of the camera. See, there's barely a gap. There's probably not even a millimetre there. So there should be about three mil, something like that. So it does shut, but you have to slam it to get it to shut. The lock works. back on. The only thing I had to do was, that's the screw there, that screws into the other side of the lock. So you just have to screw that up to hold it in place this side and then place the bolt on that side. And that's it. Strike the wings slightly out as well. So I've had to adjust that, which I'll probably have to adjust again. I'm not adjusting it anymore. So if I shut it like that, it doesn't shut properly. So I have to slam it quite a lot. There you go. It isn't right, but you know, it needs adjusting. It looks like it's a bit high there, going by the rubber, and possibly a bit low there. Uh, so it needs to move that way as well. But until I get the wing on, I'm not going to bother trying. So once I've got the wing on, I can adjust the gaps properly all the way around then. But at the moment, it does the job. That's it. Pretty much job finished.